Hi everyone, and welcome to the Dodo Bird Nerd. It's me, the Dodo Bird Nerd. And in today's Drawing an Extinct Animal video, I'm going to be drawing the Japanese River Otter again, but in a new style this time. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. Okay, so at this point I'm just trying to figure out how exactly to center the River Otter's design before I start on with the basic sketch, starting off with one end of it, including a tail. And once the tail is done, I start drawing in the back leg and foot. However, I do admittedly not draw in the foot and leg that are in the back of the drawing until the like tweak section of the video. So it's not end up being recorded, but it will be shown off in the tweak section at the very end of the video. But now I'm starting off with the rest of the sketch with the front leg and the stomach and the back. And now I'm working on the head, which does take me a bit longer to do, but ultimately not a very long time. As I believe this is one of the quickest sketches I've done in this entire series. And there's two things that probably help out with this. One, I've drawn it before, so I'm probably just remembering how I drew it before. And secondly, I do have a reference image, which I did have the first time, but, you know, it probably still helps in terms of drawing it faster. At this point, I just move on to doing some tweaks with the tail, just trying to make it a bit longer to make it slightly more accurate, I think. So then I move on already to drawing in the coloring of the sketch, and I try to find a good brown. It does end up taking me a bit longer to find it, but I do end up finding a pretty good brown, and then I start coloring it in with my pencil tool to get that nice like wildlife sketch uh, look I like. I do end up slimming up the tail a bit um, during this coloring it in process, but it just doesn't change that much. I just didn't like how exactly it looked, but I did do a bit more tweaking to it here, so it looks slightly better. At this point, I just find a darker brown to um, draw in like the shading line um, to show the leg being different to the rest of the body. And I then move on to coloring in the rest of the body of the river otter, going all the way through there and down and then I move on to drawing in a bit more, and I end up adding in a bit more of a line right through there, and just to show shading again, and then I color in the rest of that front foot, like so. Then I move on to doing the head of the river otter, which doesn't take me that long because it's just coloring it in again, but there is a few small details I do add in just to make it slightly more accurate. For one, I add in like the white underbelly thing that my reference image seemed to have. And so I add that in all the way up through the face, kind of similar to the previous drawing I did for the Japanese river otter a while ago. And then add in a small nose and then I color in the eye. I move it slightly just to make it slightly more accurate and then I color it in, and then I add in the light glint on the eye like I normally do with my standard electric blue eye. Then try to give it a smile that I like. It does take me a bit, but I do end up settling on that one that I think looks pretty good. I then add in the whiskers of the Japanese river otter right through there. I then remove the basic outline sketch and realize there's a lot of touch up I have to do throughout the sketch just to make it slightly more accurate and stuff and look slightly better. For one, I have to just do some smoothing. That's basically what it is. Just some smoothing right through there. Um, I do end up doing a bit more smoothing in the tweaks as well. That's basically the two things that happen. I add in the back legs and I smooth it out a bit more. But other than that, it's pretty good. Just smoothing it out right through there. And uh, that's not the eraser. <laughs> smoothing out a bit more. And just smoothing out the tail. I do end up realizing I do need to do a bit more of a touch up to the tail just to add the curvature back because it was somewhat lost when I was doing the erasing. And then I just do some tweaks on the feet and a bit more of the tail and then I do a bit more on the belly again missing the eraser again and then I go in slim out and smooth out the uh, front leg and then I do a bit more to smooth out the um, I guess neck would be how it would go. Then I smooth out the head a bit. And yeah. And so this concludes my drawing of the Japanese river otter. What do you think of my drawing? Let me know in the comments down below. What extinct animals do you want me to draw in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. 
And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!